This is lesson 6.2, basic percent problems in pre-algebra. Now the word problems, everybody's thinking story problems, but not necessarily so. There are some of those, but I'm going to teach you a pretty easy way, at least I think it's easy, on how to solve these problems. Because again, we're dealing with percent, and they're going to be asking you questions like, what number is 15% of... 63. So what number? Okay, so my handwriting on this iPad board um, is my actual handwriting. It doesn't get worse on the iPad. It's that bad all the time. So um, I apologize if you can't read it. So hopefully as I am writing words on here, I'm telling you what words they are so that you can at least be able to make sense of my left-handedness on an iPad. So what number is 15% of 63. Okay, so let's look at a couple key phrases here. What? That's what I'm looking for. What is your unknown? It's your variable. It's your x. It's your question mark. So I'm just going to make an x there for what. Okay. Is. Is represents an equal sign. So whenever you see the word is in this section, just put an equal sign there. 15% of, whenever you see an of, we're going to write a multiplication sign. So because I used an x here, I'm going to use a dot here for my multiplication of 63. Now, the, this is where the last section, 6.1, being able to change things from a percent to a decimal is very, very handy because we cannot solve problems using a percent sign in the problem. We have to change it to a decimal. So I'm just going to change my 15%, move it over twice, to get rid of my percent sign. So, what number is 15% of 63? So all I'm doing is multiplying 0.15 times 63 with my handy dandy calculator and I can find out what that number is. And that's all there is to it. Is means equal, of means multiply, what is my variable x. So you change your percent if there's a percent in the problem to a decimal and just do what it asks you to do. So let's look at these. Um, we just did example one, so we'll jump to um, example two, where it asks me, um, let me get rid of my stuff here, what percentage of 42 is 21? So what percentage or what percent of 42 of means times is equals 21. So that's what I'm looking at. Now one of the things that's important, when I do this, I'm looking for a percent here, but my answer or my numbers here that I do the work with will never give me a percent. What I have to do then is then move my decimal over to in order to put the percent. So even though it says what percent, I'm not going to get a percent until I move the decimal at the end. So let's go ahead and remember that we're looking for percent, but let's just get rid of, and let's see if I can erase that percentage sign. Nope, can't erase it. So we'll scribble it out. So we're not going to worry about that right now until the end, but remember that's what you're looking for. So what percent of 42 is 21? So we're going to write this as x times 42, or I'm going to put the number first, 42 times x equals 21, divide by 42, divide by 42, and that's going to go away, and then that will give me x equals 21 divided by 42 is, I don't know why I put a dot there, is 0.5. Now we're changing that x, it wants it to be a percent, so we're going to move that decimal two places over. So it's going to be um, five zero because we're going to move it over one, two, put a zero there, and we're moving it toward the percent sign we want to put on there. So we get 50%. So 21 is 50% of 42. Now let's look at example three. It says 25. Let me go ahead and write that out there. 25 is 42 percent of what, I'm going to use a hashtag there, what number? 
So, 25 equals 40% of times what number? X. So, again, we have to change our 40% to a decimal, which you're probably getting to where you can just do that in your head. Times X, we'll just do that. Now, we need to find X. We have to get X by itself. So we divide both sides by what's being multiplied by x, and it doesn't matter if it's a decimal or a whole number, we can still do it by 0.4. And these cancel, and those go away. So we have 25 divided by 0.4. And when we do 25 divided by 0.4, we get 62.5. Now, it wasn't asking us for a percent. It was just asking us 25 is 40% of what number? 62.5. So if we have 62.5 and we take 40% of that number, we're going to get 25. 25 is 40% of 62.5. So if you just write your problems using the is and of as an equal and as a multiplication, these get to be very, very easy. So let's jump to uh, example 5. What percent, what percent of 78 is 31.9, question. So, what percent, so x of is times 70 is is equal 31.9, okay? So we're just going to do our division. This is going to be 70x. We're going to flip them around because I always like to put my number first. 31.9. Going to divide by 70. Divide by 70. I guess it's 78. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to make it a 70 since I've been saying 70 all along. Uh, okay, cancel that. So x equals 31.9 divided by 70. So you take your calculator and you get an answer there. And you move the decimal place two places to the right so that you can put your percentage sign on there. I don't know what 31.9 over 70 is off the top of my head and I don't have a calculator, but that would give you your answer in percentage. So the rest of this section is um, using percent problems or solving percent problems like we just did using proportions. I don't teach you how to do that. You can go ahead and look in the book to learn how to do that if you'd like, but I don't do it because um, it's kind of a more difficult way of doing it to get the same answer, so why do it the harder way to get the same answer? So um, just kind of skip that section there because, I mean, look at example 10. They're using proportions. 25 is 40% of what number? So 25 is 40% of what number? So you solve for x just like we did before. And they have us comparing 40%, 40 over 100 equals 25 is to something else. And then you cross multiply and find the answer. I mean, it's not difficult to do. It's just a little more confusing to set up, I think. But if you're okay with that and you want to try some of those, go ahead and, and give that a shot. Now, as far as the problem set is concerned, it's, sheesh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just put an equal in for is, a times in for of, and an x in for what, and go ahead and solve it. The only key thing that I would remind you to do is to make sure that, uh, if it asks for a percent, that when you get a decimal for an answer, you change it to a percent. Also, when they give you a percent, such as 27, 25% of what number is 30, when you write it, you're going to go 25% of what number is 30. The key thing is, make that a decimal before you do the math. Do not leave the percent sign on when you're doing the the math part, okay? And and you don't put it back on because it's not asking you to give an answer in percent. Whereas something like number 34 says 26 is what percent of 78? So you'd go 26 equals what percent times or of 78 or times 78. 
So this one, they want the answer in percent. So when you get your answer, it's going to be in decimal. Move the decimal place over two to the right, put a percent sign on, and you're done. So that's what I was saying. Make sure you take the percent sign off if they give it to you in the problem, like on 25, 27, 29, they all give you percent. Change them to decimals first. Or if they're asking percent, once you get your answer, change it back to percent or change it to percent by moving the decimal to the right. Those are the two key things that kind of make it a little confusing sometimes, but um, if you just remember those, you'll be just fine for lesson 6.2.